All right, Coach Bird here, UltimateSoccerCoaching.com, and we're going to take a look today at a, uh, a 5v5 uh, v5 possession game with a middle zone, and I'll, I'll go ahead and draw it out for you. Um, we're going to go 30 yards wide, so this will be 30 yards wide. Uh, we're going to go 50 yards long, like that. So that'll be 50 from here to here. And we're going to put a 10 yard middle zone. So we'll go you know, somewhere right in here. And that'll be about 10 yards. So we'll have 20, 10, and another 20. And you're going to break your team up into three groups of five. So we'll start out with, uh, we'll say the, the red team. So we're going to put one, two, three, four red teamers in one side. You're going to put one red team in this middle zone. And then we're going to put over here, we're going to go and put the blue team in. So we're going to put one, two, three, four blue teamers here one blue team are here and then the, the last team will be yellow and so you're gonna have two yellows in the grid here yellow and yellow one yellow in this grid and two yellows in that grid and the objective here is very simple you're gonna start out with the ball on one side they're gonna play two touch and the objective is to get the ball from here to the opposite side now the ball has has to be played on the ground you can't play a flighted ball and ideally you're going to work through the middle players. So yellow is defending in all grids um, and blue and red are working together. So it's going to be basically a 10 v 5 game but broken out over three zones. Um, so we're all two touch. Everything is going to be two touch in this. Um, so blue is going to be working in this grid and they're either going to, you know, let's say they, they work a ball here and they work a ball here. They have the opportunity possibly to bypass the grid on the ground and play into this grid, or they can work through either one of these players. Um, so it's okay if blue passes to red here, but yellow will be defending. So pretty simple activity, you're just gonna move back and forth. You can run for you know three minutes or five minutes or whatever you wanna do, and then rotate players out so yellow comes out, red now becomes a defending player with two defenders, two defenders, and a single defender. So a lot of different ways to do this. Um, but some really great coaching opportunities here. And one of the really big things you're gonna to wanna to work on uh, with your players is is their body shape as they're receiving the ball and you want them to open their hips up so in other words if a, if a ball is played let's say for, the ball is here with this red player and he's and he plays it into this to this man here this guy does not want to receive the ball closed out facing in this direction because when he does that he's now he's now limited his options the only thing he can do if he's squared up looking this way is make this pass or make a return pass. So it's very simple for this guy to basically dive in here and this guy to dive in here and he knows that the ball cannot be reversed to the opposite side. So what you're going to encourage this guy to do is to is he's receiving to he's facing this way, ball comes, open his hips up as he's receiving so he has all his opportunities and all his options in front of him. Um, the other thing you're going to want to think about and talk to your players about is trying to play a ball that allows the second pass, allows the next pass to take place. And we kind of show an example of, of the ball being moved from this player here into this guy. Now if the defender in, in yellow is here, when he makes the pass and we're trying to get to the opposite side, it's going to be beneficial to play the ball to the outside. You don't want to play a pass over into this area when a defender's here and the objective is to get the ball up, up the field. Because this guy is going to have to receive the ball and now he's going to be facing the wrong way. So the better ball is going to be a ball that's you know a yard or two out in front of him so he can you know lift his head, take a step forward, play the ball in and be good to go. So a couple of coaching points you're going to do. Body shape is extremely important. Um, playing a ball that's going to be in a direction um, you know that makes sense for the second pass is going to be very helpful. And then in here you're going to need these to talk to these two guys about making runs where they're checking and they're helping out. So if this guy is under a lot of pressure, he can check here, receive a ball, and it's fine if he goes ahead and plays it over there. He doesn't have to immediately turn and try to go to the opposite grid. He can play a ball right back in. Um, again, communication is extremely important here. Uh, if this defender is, is you know, way over here out of position, B plays the ball into the red player, 
He needs to communicate to him, you know, you can turn or tight turn or man on. Let him know where the yellow player is. Let him know if he has the opportunity to turn. If he does, this guy can take a very simple one-touch turn and then bam, play into the grid and off we go. So a couple of great coaching points. This is an, a really, really good activity. Uh, I think your players are going to enjoy it a lot. Again, rotate through every, every couple of three minutes or so. Uh, work on two touch for sure. Keep them a limited amount of touches. This is a game that's really all about speed of play, receiving the ball with a, with a good body position, and playing a ball with a mind of where the next pass is going to go. So. Uh, if you're viewing this on our YouTube channel, I want you to click the subscribe button above. That's going to get you kind of in the loop here with uh, Ultimate Soccer Coaching so that whenever we have new updates, whenever we put new content up on our YouTube channel, you'll get notified about those videos. Uh, if you're viewing it on our blog, uh, you're going to see a link below to the YouTube channel and I recommend you go do the same thing. Go to our channel, hit the subscribe button. You're going to see a lot of other great videos. Take some time to go through those. Um, as always, comment on the videos, comment on the blog, let us know what you think about these activities. Did they help you? Are you going to try them out with your team? Did you have good success? Do you have other variations or other activities that you use that you enjoy? We want to hear back from you. We want to know you're out there. We want to know you're live. So anyway, Coach Burt signing off. Have a great day.